the Auburn Tigers uh, coming off an eight-win season a year ago. Uh, some people believe in them as a team on the rise. Other people are doubting them. Let's let's get a quick five-minute football flyby preview of the 2012 season with our guy uh, from the Opelika Auburn News at Savetitz on Twitter. Good luck spelling that. <laughs> that would be Mike Savetitz. Mike, how you doing big time? What's going on, bro? <laughs> Not much, sir. Hope you're having fun, and uh, and uh, I know we're ready for football. But let's jump in. the The questions with Auburn, obviously, there's a number of them, but they start at quarterback. Who's going to start? How much faith do you have in them? Yeah, I don't know who's going to start yet. I mean, people have their favorites. They haven't announced the starter yet, so it's going to be it's still up in the air at least until uh, until they name a starter, which I would think they would have to do within the next couple of days. Um, you know, you got Saturday, you got two weeks for the first game, and I don't think you want to have much less time than that to have a starter know that he's going to be the guy um, and have two weeks to really kind of win over the huddle if he hasn't already and just kind of get comfortable with them knowing that the guy has been named. So I would say by Saturday you might see a starter being named, and that's obviously between Todd Fraser, the sophomore, and uh, and Clint Mosley, who's a junior, a redshirt junior. So, um, and and, and it, if they can get a starter named and, and – they can run the offense that Scott Leffler wants to run with, with some of the guys that they have in skill position, some of the proven veterans with, you know, guys like Phil Bluffenkirchen and Emery Blake and Ontario McCaleb and some of the, the stable of back, uh, running backs that they do have. You know, this offense could be okay. Um, defense is going to carry this team because that's where they've got a lot of their, uh, their veterans and experience from. But, you know, offensively it all comes down to what quarterback wins the job, and that's really going to dictate how Scott Leffler runs his offense. Mike, I know Mike Dyer moved on during the off season, and, and it doesn't seem like Auburn has a twenty-five carry a game type guy on its roster. Who? How do you think the the carries are going to break down uh, with the running yeah, backs? Yeah, you know, they do and, have? and you know this, but you know as well as anybody does. You know, Auburn's going to run the football still regardless of who's of who's their offensive coordinator. But you know, I, I think you're going to see Trey Mason um, get a lot of those carries. You know, Ontario Michaela has got, you know, he's going to get a lot of touches, but he can't run between the, the, the tackles as much as you would like in the SEC. Um, you know, he's really worked on trying to do that, but it's, 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 you know, when you're 160, 70 pounds, it's really hard to t- take a beating in between the, in between the tackles. And, and so you, I, I think you're going to see Trey Mason and I think you're going to see, uh, Corey Grant get some touches in there. Uh, Mike Blakely to a, you know, Florida transfer, um, you know, from Florida, He's going to be in the mix. So, I, you know, how they're going to disparage those those carries, I'm not sure yet. But I think you're going to hear Trey Mason's name a lot as far as that between the tackles, um, giving you those tough yards like that. Mike, real quick, uh, hit on uh, on that offensive line, all the inexperience there in, uh, in the receiving core, and then uh, hop over to the defense. What, others, what are some things that uh, are of note on defense? Yeah, they've got some good news back this week. Their senior uh, senior guard uh, Don Sullen's back full speed at practice, so that's good for their offensive line. Yeah, they've got some returning guys who've played. Reese Disneyuks, even though he's only a sophomore, he's got a year under his belt as far as being you know the starting center. You've also got you know Don Sullen that started last year at guard, um, and, and you know they've got two guys who haven't played: redshirt freshman and Christian Westerman and Greg Robinson are going to come in and play play tackle and guard, and and how those guys mesh with the rest of the crew. Uh, with Chad Slade and, 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 and is the other returning starter, so that's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how those guys get together once they figure out the quarterback and which direction this offense is going. That's going to be a key to watch. Um, and then you know depth. And for the first time, they've had depth on the offensive line in the last couple of years, where they have guys who, who they might not be as experienced, but they got some talented depth. So if somebody goes down, they they're, they're hopeful they have a guy that can they can plug in and not miss a beat. Defensively, on the defensive line, you know you got Corey Lemonier who's the preseason. You know, all SEC pick. Um, you know, that guy was, I think, second or third in, in the SEC in tackles for loss and sacks last year. So they're really looking for a big year from him. D4, now that he's back after a back injury on the other end, you know, they're looking for, for, for good things from him. Then defensive tackle, you know, they got guys who played a lot as, you know, true freshmen and sophomores and now going in there, you know, either redshirt sophomore years or junior years. Um, you know, they've got guys who, who have that experience, who have, uh, who have, you know, really produced well. So defensive line will be another strength for, for Auburn this year, um, you know, so it's just, again, one of those wait and see how, how it all plays out and if they can stay healthy. Mike, real real quick, just to, to kind of wrap it up, there, there are widely divergent expectations for Auburn depending on who you listen to. Uh, you know, does this team have the talent to make up the, the gap that, that we saw last year in those games against LSU and, and Auburn and right, LSU and Alabama and, and get back to the near the top of the SEC West? 
Yeah, I think the potential there is, you know, I, I really think that, you know, they, they like the potential, but, you know, just like potential to the definition of the word, it, it's kind of un, un, unseen yet, you know, the potential there, but can they actually make it reality? And, and I think that's, that's going to be the key is, is they can, can they put all the pieces that they have, some of the young, experienced, uh, inexperienced guys that they have that they really like, that they really think are going to be good football players, can those guys bridge the gap? Can they make the jump? If they can, I think Auburn's going to have a decent year this year. They've got a really good home schedule every even year. You know, they got LSU, Arkansas, and Georgia at home. So that's really going to help them out this year. And so some of those younger guys can bridge that gap. I think I think it's a, it's going to be a better year than most project. If they can't, then I think that you know the what, what people are saying, you know, about seven and five, eight and four is is, is, is pretty much where you're going to see if those if those younger guys can make the step up. And it all starts at quarterback. Mike Savetitz covers the Auburn Tigers for the Opelika Auburn News. Uh, here's how you spell it on Twitter. It's S-Z-V-E-T-I-T-Z. Good follow on Twitter as well. Mike, great to talk to you. As always, my friend, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you again soon. All right, Vince. Thanks a lot. Be good up there, man.